Welcome back to Hollywood Inside 1960s. Today we're diving into the world of sitcom stars and unveiling their shocking transformations in 2024. From iconic faces to unexpected makeovers you won't believe how time has treated these beloved actors get ready for a trip down memory lane with a surprising twist. Now, let's get started. Number 30. Carol O'Connor, full name John Carol O'Connor, was born on August 2, 1924, in Manhattan, New York. He gained widespread recognition for his portrayal of Archie Bunker in the classic sitcom All in the Family, 1971-1979. In All in the Family, Archie Bunker is a middle-aged, conservative man known for his controversial statements about politics and society. However, he is deeply loving towards his family. Archie became an American cultural icon in the 1970s. After All in the Family, Carol O'Connor's career continued to thrive with impressive roles in various films and TV shows. He passed away in 2001 due to complications from heart disease and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Towards the end of his life, Carol underwent significant physical changes, including white hair, wrinkled skin, declining health, and a frail body. Despite this, he left a profound impact on audiences with his inspiring portrayals of family love and humanity. Number 29. Gene Stapleton, full name Gene Murray Stapleton, was born on January 19, 1923, in New York City. She became widely known for her role as Edith Bunker in the popular sitcom All in the Family in the early 1970s. In the show, Edith is the wife of Archie Bunker, and Stapleton's performance earned her three Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. Edith's character is endearing, gentle, and somewhat clumsy. Following the success of All in the Family, Gene Stapleton's career continued to ascend, appearing in various films and TV programs. However, in her later years, Stapleton underwent surprising physical changes, becoming noticeably thinner and older. Despite the initial surprise from the public, they still appreciated her contributions to the entertainment industry. Gene Stapleton's passing in 2013 left a deep sense of loss among her fans. Number 28. B. Arthur, full name Beatrice Arthur, was born on May 13, 1922, in New York. She gained widespread recognition for her role as Maude Findlay in the sitcom Maude in the early 1970s. In the show, Maude is a strong, outspoken middle-aged woman. Arthur's unique portrayal earned her two Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actress. Despite her success in Maude, B. Arthur's later years saw significant changes in her appearance, with noticeable weight loss and an aging appearance. The public continued to appreciate her contributions until her passing in 2009. B. Arthur's departure left a significant void in the hearts of colleagues and fans, and she remains a legend for her distinctive role as Maud. Number 27. Bill Cosby, full name William Henry Cosby Jr., was born on July 12, 1937, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He gained widespread fame for his role as Cliff Huxtable, the father figure in the popular sitcom The Cosby Show in the 1980s. Cliff Huxtable's character turned Bill Cosby into an American cultural icon, portraying a loving, humorous, and endearing father. However, Cosby's image took a severe hit as he became embroiled in multiple sexual assault scandals, facing accusations from dozens of women. Cosby's physical appearance deteriorated, and his career crumbled as public sentiment shifted from admiration to repulsion due to his abusive behavior. Despite these controversies, Cosby's contributions to the world of comedy are still remembered and appreciated, though overshadowed by the serious allegations against him.
Number 26. Mary Tyler Moore, born on December 29, 1936, in Brooklyn, New York, became widely known for her portrayal of Mary Richards in the classic sitcom, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, in the 1970s. In the show, Mary Richards is a single, attractive, and lovable young woman. Moore's performance turned her into an icon for modern, independent women. Despite her significant contributions to the entertainment industry, Mary Tyler Moore's later years saw substantial changes in her appearance, with the once beautiful face now showing signs of aging and frailty. Despite these physical changes, the public continued to hold great affection and respect for the actress. Moore passed away in 2017, leaving behind a legacy as a valuable symbol for women. Number 25. Dick Van Dyke, born on December 13, 1925, in West Plains, Missouri, gained widespread recognition for his role as Rob Petrie in the classic sitcom The Dick Van Dyke Show in the early 1960s. In the show, Dick Van Dyke successfully portrayed a humorous and endearing character. Despite his talent, the actor's appearance underwent surprising changes in his later years, with noticeable aging, frailty, and a thinning figure. Many fans were taken aback by these transformations, but their admiration and respect for the accomplished actor persisted. Dick Van Dyke continues to contribute to the world of entertainment. Number 24. Valerie Harper, born on August 22, 1939, in Suffern, New York, became widely known for her role as Rhoda Morgenstern in the popular sitcom, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, and its spin-off, Rhoda, in the 1970s. In the show, Rhoda is a straightforward, humorous Jewish woman with insecurities about her appearance. Harper's unique portrayal earned her four Emmy Awards. However, as Harper entered her 60s, her health deteriorated significantly, leading to weight loss and an aged appearance. In 2013, she was diagnosed with stage 4 brain cancer, shocking the public. Valerie Harper passed away in 2019, at the age of 80, leaving behind an indelible mark as an icon of the 1970s. Number 23. Ted Knight, born as Tadeusz Władysław Konopka on December 7, 1923, in Terryville, Connecticut, gained widespread recognition for his role as Ted Baxter, a television news anchor, in the sitcom The Mary Tyler Moore Show in the 1970s. In the show, Ted Baxter is a comical and contradictory character, confident in his appearance and voice but lacking competence. Despite his Emmy-winning performance, Knight's health deteriorated significantly in his later years, with noticeable weight loss, a sunken face, and an aged appearance. He passed away in 1986 due to cancer, at the age of 62. Despite his relatively short life, Ted Knight left a lasting imprint with his unique portrayal of Ted Baxter. Number 22. Alan Alda, born Alfonso Joseph de Abruzzo on January 28, 1936, in New York, gained widespread recognition for his role as Hawkeye Pierce, a surgeon in the popular war comedy drama, M.A.S.H., in the 1970s. In M.A.S.H., Hawkeye Pierce is a skilled but sarcastic and humorous surgeon. Alda's iconic role earned him five Emmy Awards. Despite his significant contributions to the entertainment industry, Alda's later years saw noticeable changes in his appearance, with visible signs of aging, frailty, and a thinner frame. Nevertheless, public affection and respect for the actor, who has won six Emmy Awards and six Golden Globes, remains strong. Alan Alda continues to be active in acting and artistic endeavors.
Number 21. Loretta Swit, born Loretta Jane Swit on November 4, 1937, in Passaic, New Jersey, became widely known for her portrayal of Margaret Hot Lips Houlihan in the hit war comedy drama M.A.S.H. in the 1970s. In M.A.S.H., Hot Lips is a strong, assertive military nurse with a humane side. Swit's unique portrayal earned her two Emmy Awards. Despite her success, Swit's appearance underwent significant changes in her later years, with wrinkled skin and deep-set eyes. Fans were surprised by these transformations, but they continued to express affection and respect for the actress. With her distinctive role as Hot Lips, Loretta Swit left a lasting impression on the small screen. Number 20. Bob Newhart, born George Robert Newhart on September 5, 1929, in Oak Park, Illinois, gained widespread recognition for his role as Bob Hartley, a psychologist, in the popular sitcom, The Bob Newhart Show, in the early 1970s. In the show, Bob Hartley is a humorously mild-mannered psychologist with a contradictory yet endearing personality. Newhart's iconic portrayal earned him prestigious Emmy Awards. As Bob Newhart aged, his appearance underwent noticeable changes, with weight loss and a much older, frail look. Despite these physical transformations, his acting talent continued to captivate audiences through various film and television roles. At the age of 90, Bob Newhart remains a familiar face to fans and is considered a living legend in the world of comedy. Number 19. Suzanne Plachette, born Suzanne Marie Plachette on January 31, 1937, in Brooklyn Heights, New York, became widely known for her role as Emily Hartley, Bob's wife, in the hit sitcom, The Bob Newhart Show, in the early 1970s. In the show, Emily is a beautiful, intelligent, and humorous wife. Despite frequent arguments with her husband, the on-screen chemistry between Bob and Emily is cherished as one of the most adorable couples on television. As Suzanne Plachette aged, her beauty began to fade, and her once radiant face showed signs of aging with wrinkles. The actress passed away in 2008 due to cancer, leaving behind a legacy of a character loved by many. Despite her relatively short life, Suzanne Plachette is remembered fondly for her iconic role as Emily. Number 18. John Ritter, born Jonathan Southworth Ritter on September 17, 1948, in Burbank, California, gained widespread fame for his role as Jack Tripper in the popular sitcom Three's Company in the late 1970s to 1980s. In the show, Jack Tripper is a charming, cheerful young man always finding himself in humorous and awkward situations. Ritter's performance as the iconic character earned him a prestigious Emmy Award. In the later years of his life, John Ritter began showing signs of aging and declining health. He tragically passed away in 2003 at the age of 55 due to a heart-related issue, leaving fans shocked and mourning. Despite his early departure, John Ritter's legacy lives on as Jack Tripper remains an enduring symbol of energy and joy. Number 17. Joyce DeWitt, born Joyce Ann DeWitt on April 23, 1949, in Wheeling, West Virginia, became widely known for her portrayal of Janet Wood in the hit sitcom Three's Company, alongside John Ritter in the late 1970s to 1980s. In the show, Janet is a smart but often misunderstood young woman who frequently clashes with her roommate Jack, John Ritter, resulting in comical situations. As Joyce DeWitt aged, her appearance underwent noticeable changes, with the once vibrant and attractive face now showing signs of aging with wrinkles. 
Despite these physical transformations, Janet Wood remains a memorable character from the 70s and 80s, and Joyce DeWitt is still appreciated by fans for her contribution to the iconic sitcom. Number 16. Don Knotts, born Jesse Donald Knotts on July 21, 1924, in Morgantown, West Virginia, gained widespread recognition for his role as Barney Fife, the bumbling but lovable deputy sheriff, in the classic sitcom, The Andy Griffith Show, in the early 1960s. In the show, Barney Fife is known for causing trouble and getting involved in humorous situations. Knotts' iconic portrayal earned him multiple Emmy Awards. As Don Knotts aged, his health deteriorated significantly. His once lively and animated appearance transformed into a frail and aged look. The legendary comedian passed away in 2006 at the age of 82, leaving behind a legacy as one of the greatest comedic talents in television history. Barney Fife remains an enduring symbol of classic comedy. Number 15. Penny Marshall, born Carol Penny Marshall on October 15, 1943, in Bronx, New York, became widely known for her role as Laverne DeFazio in the hit sitcom, Laverne and Shirley, in the late 1970s to 1980s. In the show, Laverne is a strong and straightforward character, known for her wit and compassion. Unlike the glamorous image often associated with actresses, Penny Marshall excelled in portraying a character with depth and humor. In her later years, Penny Marshall battled diabetes and various health issues. She passed away in 2018 at the age of 75, leaving behind a legacy as an actress, director, and producer. Laverne DeFazio remains an enduring figure in television history, and Penny Marshall's contributions to the entertainment industry are celebrated. Number 14. Cindy Williams, born Cynthia Jane Williams on August 22, 1947, in Van Nuys, California, gained widespread recognition for her role as Shirley Feeney in the popular sitcom, Laverne and Shirley, alongside Penny Marshall in the late 1970s to 1980s. In the show, Shirley is a sweet, somewhat naive, and lovable character who often finds herself in amusing situations alongside her best friend, Laverne. As Cindy Williams aged, her appearance underwent significant changes, with more wrinkles and a less vibrant look compared to her youthful days. However, she continues to receive affection from fans who fondly remember her as Shirley Feeney, making an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. Number 13. Red Fox, born John Elroy Sanford on December 9, 1922, in St. Louis, Missouri, gained widespread fame for his role as Fred Sanford, the comically grumpy and eccentric father, in the classic sitcom, Sanford and Son, in the early 1970s. In the show, Fred Sanford is the owner of a junkyard with a penchant for telling lies and complaining about various ailments. Despite his quirks, the character became a cultural icon, as Red Fox aged, his health deteriorated significantly. He passed away in 1991 at the age of 69 due to a heart attack, leaving behind a legacy as a groundbreaking comedian and a pioneer in African-American entertainment. Fred Sanford remains a symbol of classic humor and wit. Number 12. DeMond Wilson, born Grady DeMond Wilson on October 13, 1946, in Valdosta, Georgia, gained widespread recognition for his role as Lamont Sanford, 
the good-natured and patient son of Fred Sanford, in the classic sitcom, Sanford and Son, in the early 1970s. In the show, Lamont is a smart, kind-hearted young man who often has to endure his father's exaggerated antics. Despite the constant bickering, the father-son duo shares a deep bond of love and respect. As Demond Wilson aged, his appearance underwent significant changes, with noticeable weight gain and a rounder, less energetic look. However, his portrayal of Lamont Sanford remains etched in the memories of viewers, and he continues to be cherished for his role in the classic sitcom. Number 11. Mary-Kate Shellhart, born Mary-Kate Olson Shellhart on June 13, 1951, in Los Angeles, California, gained widespread recognition for her role as Annie Romano, the adorable and mischievous daughter, in the popular sitcom, One Day at a Time, in the late 1970s to 1980s. In the show, Annie is a spirited and playful young girl who often finds herself in amusing predicaments, endearing her to the audience. As Mary-Kate Shellhart grew older, her prominence in the entertainment industry waned, and her appearance changed significantly from her youthful days. However, the character of Annie Romano remains a nostalgic and beloved figure for those who fondly remember the sitcom from the 70s. Mary-Kate Shellhart left an enduring mark with her iconic portrayal. Number 10. Bonnie Franklin, full name Bonnie Gail Franklin, born on January 6, 1944, in Santa Monica, California. She gained widespread recognition for her role as Anne Romano, a strong and independent single mother, in the popular sitcom, One Day at a Time, in the 1970s to 1980s. In the show, Anne Romano is a modern, self-reliant woman who juggles work and single-handedly raises her two daughters. This pioneering role earned Bonnie Franklin two prestigious Emmy nominations. In her later years, Bonnie Franklin battled ovarian cancer. She passed away in 2013 at the age of 69, leaving behind a legacy of the modern, strong woman. Despite her early departure, the image of Anne Romano remains an enduring symbol of modern, empowered women on American television. It is a significant legacy that Bonnie Franklin left behind. Number 9. Mackenzie Phillips, full name Laura Mackenzie Phillips, born on November 10, 1959, in Alexandria, Virginia. She gained widespread recognition for her role as Julie Cooper, the second daughter of Anne Romano, in the popular sitcom, One Day at a Time, in the 1970s to 1980s. In the show, Julie Cooper is a beautiful and intelligent high school student with a rebellious streak. Her character left a strong impression on contemporary audiences. However, after leaving the series, Mackenzie Phillips faced turbulent times, including drug addiction and legal troubles, leading to a significant decline in her career. Her appearance also underwent drastic changes, causing regret among many for the promising young talent. Nevertheless, the image of Julie Cooper, charming and mischievous, remains a cherished memory for audiences of that era. Number 8. Alan Thicke, full name Alan Willis Thicke, born on March 1, 1947, in Kirkland Lake, Ontario, Canada. He gained widespread recognition for his role as Jason Seaver, the father of the family, in the popular sitcom, Growing Pains, in the 1980s to 1990s. In the show, Jason Seaver is a gentle, lovable psychiatrist and caring father. Alan Thicke's career reached its peak during this time, and he was honored at the Canada's Walk of Fame in 2013. However, Alan Thicke unexpectedly passed away in 2016 due to a heart attack at the age of 69, leaving many shocked. Despite his sudden departure, the image of the skilled and caring family man portrayed by Jason Seaver continues to positively influence society. It is a cherished legacy of Alan Thicke,
Number 7. Joanna Kearns, full name Joanna Crussy de Verona, born on February 12, 1953, in San Francisco, California. She gained widespread recognition for her role as Maggie Seaver, the beautiful and lovable mother in the hit sitcom, Growing Pains, in the 1980s to 1990s. In the show, Maggie Seaver is a diligent homemaker, always supportive and encouraging to her husband and children. This role propelled Joanna Kearns to a list status in the television industry. As Joanna Kearns aged, her appearance underwent significant changes with the emergence of wrinkles and silver strands in her once glossy hair. Nevertheless, her natural beauty and warm smile continue to be major assets even in her 70s. Maggie Seaver remains an ideal figure of a loving wife and mother in the hearts of many, and Joanna Kern's portrayal left an indelible mark on television history. Number 6. Gary Coleman, full name Gary Wayne Coleman, born on February 8, 1968, in Zion, Illinois. He became widely known as a child actor for his role as Arnold Jackson in the popular sitcom, Different Strokes, in the late 1970s to 1980s. In the show, Arnold Jackson is a witty and mischievous African-American boy adopted by a wealthy white family. This role made Gary Coleman a household name and a symbol of the 80s. After leaving the series, Gary Coleman faced career struggles and personal issues, including legal troubles and struggles with kidney disease since childhood. He passed away in 2010 at the age of 42, leaving behind a legacy of a talented but troubled child star. Arnold Jackson's character remains an iconic representation of the challenges faced by adopted children. Number 5. Todd Bridges, full name Todd Anthony Bridges, born on May 27, 1965, in San Francisco, California. He gained widespread recognition for his role as Willis Jackson, the younger brother of Arnold, in the popular sitcom, Different Strokes, in the late 1970s to 1980s. In the show, Willis Jackson is a mischievous and trouble-prone young boy but endearing to the audience due to his charm. Alongside Gary Coleman, Todd Bridges left a lasting impact on the show. After leaving Different Strokes, Todd Bridges faced legal issues and struggled with drug addiction, leading to a decline in his career. Fortunately, he successfully overcame addiction and managed to stabilize his life. Despite the challenges, Willis Jackson remains a memorable character for television audiences, symbolizing the challenges faced by many young African-American boys growing up in the United States during that time. Number 4. Charlotte Ray, full name Charlotte Ray Lebowski, born on April 22, 1926, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. She gained widespread recognition for her role as Edna Garrett, the kind-hearted housekeeper in the sitcoms, Different Strokes, and The Facts of Life, in the 1970s to 1980s. In the shows, Edna Garrett successfully portrayed the image of a compassionate, loving woman who cared for the girls in her charge as if they were her own. This became one of Charlotte Ray's most famous and beloved roles. In her later years, Charlotte Ray battled Alzheimer's disease. Her appearance reflected the toll of aging, and she passed away in 2018 at the age of 92. However, the image of Edna Garrett, the nurturing and loving figure, continues to inspire generations. Charlotte Ray left behind a legacy of warmth and compassion. Number 3. Lisa Welchel, full name Lisa Diane Welchel, born on May 29, 1963, in Littlefield, Texas. She gained widespread recognition for her role as Blair Warner, the glamorous yet sassy princess-type character in the sitcom, The Facts of Life, in the 1980s. In the show, 
Blair Warner represented the image of a wealthy, beautiful, but somewhat snobbish girl. Nevertheless, her character's fashionable style and sophistication made her an iconic figure of that era. As Lisa Welchel aged, her appearance underwent significant changes with the emergence of wrinkles and graying hair. However, this did not diminish the allure of the once glamorous Blair Warner. Her character remains a timeless representation of the fashionable and confident young woman. Number 2. Mindy Cohn, full name Melinda Heather Cohn, born on May 20, 1966, in Los Angeles, California. She gained widespread recognition for her role as Natalie Green, the plump and somewhat clumsy girl in the sitcom The Facts of Life in the 1980s. In the show, Natalie Green, with her full figure and straightforward personality, became one of the most beloved characters. This role is also the most iconic in Mindy Cohn's acting career. As Mindy Cohn aged, her appearance underwent various changes, including weight gain, decreased vitality, and the appearance of wrinkles. These are expected changes as she entered her 50s. However, the innocent charm of Natalie Green continues to be a beautiful memory for fans. The character remains a symbol of genuine and endearing qualities. Number 1. Barbara Felden, full name Barbara Hall Felden, born on March 12, 1933, in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. She gained widespread recognition for her role as Agent 99, the beautiful and alluring spy in the sitcom Get Smart in the 1960s. In the show, Agent 99 is an exceptional and attractive spy who earned admiration from her colleagues. This role elevated Barbara Felden to the ranks of a list stars in television during that era. As Barbara Felden aged, her beauty naturally faded over time. In her later years, she lived a more private life. However, the captivating and enchanting image of Agent 99 remains an enduring sex symbol of television. It is the remarkable legacy that Barbara Felden has contributed to the global entertainment industry. Thank you for accompanying us on this exciting journey through the transformation of iconic figures. If these stories have sparked your curiosity, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with fellow enthusiasts of captivating stories, and subscribe to the Hollywood Inside 1960s channel to stay updated with more engaging content. Your support is a great encouragement for our passion in exploring untold stories about influential personalities. Keep following us to discover more, and until next time, keep your curiosity alive. See you soon on Hollywood Inside 1960s.